Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q1 of the bi weekly contest 63. Uh, minimum number of moves to seat everyone. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, seat with me uh, on Discord. And if you like these contest farms, come and hang out and just discuss it, but you, you know, one way or the other. Um, anyway, so this one, the, the quickest thing to note is that um, let's say you, we, we sort them, right? And we seat them, you know. Um, yeah, uh, so the short answer is that you, you're supposed to sort them and then line them up so that um, all the student is matched up with the seat, right? Um, why does that work, you may ask? The reason is because now, if you think about, you know, and this is my solution because this is the uh, the length of or the num um the amount of time or the number of moves it takes for the position uh, to go from you on another. And the reason why you can do that by lining it up is because, uh, well, everyone needs to have a seat. And if 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 this is if this is used as suboptimal move, that means that there is that there's two students that uh, would have to cross each other, right? For example, uh, maybe I could do a graph. Let me bring up the point brush thing. Um, so yeah. So the way that I thought about it during the contest, and let me bring up the thing. Okay, I think this is good. The way that I thought about it during the contest is, let's say you have, you know, three students, or maybe four, maybe that's a little bit better. It's four students and four seats, right? Seats on the uh, top, students on the bottom, though it doesn't really matter. So so the the the, the uh, reasoning that we said was that, you know, everything matches up, right? Um, the reason why this is the case is because let's pretend that this is not true, right? That means that there is a solution where, where uh, the seats are crossed, and it doesn't really matter how far away they are, right? Because that means that there's this pattern if this does not yield the optimal solution. But of course, you can reason. I mean, you can probably also prove to yourself, but for me, during the contest, I reasoned that, okay, if this was suboptimal, then there's this pattern where two students have to go across each other in the seats. And however, you can reason very quickly that if they have to go across, um, then it doesn't make sense because of, I don't know, you could call it, I, I'm going to say triangle equality, inequality thing type thing because because here you can see that, I mean, it's not quite triangle. It's actually, because technically you don't travel that. Um, technically what you do is that you go here, uh, maybe yeah, and then back, right? Um, I mean, because the students are interchangeable, basically you're, you're doing, uh, you can effectively uh, just split it in half and treat them as going back and forth. Um, but but basically you're seeing this these two lines that you originally have plus all these random lines in the middle. So that's basically the visualization that I had during the contest to kind of uh, figure it out. And then that proves this solution, hopefully. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be N log N. Um, you can, I guess, do some bucket sort E things to make it quote unquote linear, uh, linear in the size of the input, but not the size of the uh, bound of the number, say, of the position. Um, but yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. You can watch me solve it live in the contest next. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest prompts. Uh, a lot of better than me people are there as well now, so we can all chat and kind of complain about uh, Elite Code or just brag about your whatever. Uh, huh, I don't know. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy, um, to good mental health, and I hope y'all have a great rest of the weekend, uh, and see you next contest. Bye-bye.